we know from from the study of the electromagnetic spectrum that we earlier did and also from from what what einstein had to had to <clears throat> show us that if we try to pass a white light through a prism okay so if i if i impinge a white light on the prism then then what happens is is the 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 light kind of splits into so many colors okay so so this is red then it splits into orange and splits into yellow right green okay blue indigo deep blue right so this is indigo and 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 violet right this is what it looks like this is this is this is violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red right there we go now you see that the red deviates the least right so so otherwise it would have gone gone straight right the line would have gone straight and and what do you call deviation is is this so so the light would have gone straight and this angle is the deviation right light in 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 absence of the prism would have gone like that and and, and the angle by which it deviates this is the deviation for red then this is the deviation for orange get that so violet deviates the most correct violet uh, I'll, I'll, I'll write in, in the same order so in the upper part i'll write like red so so red deviates the least right it deviates the least and 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 violet okay violet violet deviates the most deviates the most right now we have been told <clears throat> that <clears throat> that this this actually sees some refractive index for the glass okay that that light has some refractive index for a for for the light and and that refractive index does not change here we we make a digression now i have to say that refractive index is a characteristic of the material but it also depends on the color which is being refracted okay so for violet for violet for violet the 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 refractive index that is the mu the refractive index is is the highest 
it is the highest okay and for why because it has deviated the most right so it is the same glass you see the same glass the glass is not changed actually the refractive index that the color see when they enter the glass depends on on them right on the colors okay so so for violet refractive index is the highest and for red the for, for the same prism the refractive index that it sees is the 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 smallest the lowest okay okay and, and this will happen so 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 it is the least get that did we get that fine so so it is the least <coughs> fine and we have seen that that light has has a full spectrum right what we see is only a part of the spectrum what we see is only a part of the spectrum and we had seen that in in in, in i think a video or two back that that visible spectrum is only a very small portion of what the actual spectrum is and we are able to see the 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 light from 7.50 into 10 to the power 14 hertz to to 4 into 10 to the power 14 hertz that's all right this is the the visible range visible frequency range right correct and that actually works from 400 nanometers to to 750 nanometers this is the this is the frequency range and visible frequency range and and, and the lower one is the visible wavelength range okay so so wavelength range visible wavelength range okay so fine now the spectrum from of, 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 of the spectrum when you are able to vary the frequency continuously from one to another that is called a continuous spectrum okay so so a continuous spectrum is nothing but Continuous spectrum is is nothing but but a spectrum with with continuous presence of frequencies. Okay, of frequencies, right? That's a continuous spectrum. okay and and we call it continuous because you see that that as we change the frequency the colors merge into each other okay they keep on merging into each other fine so so the colors merge into each other <clears throat> okay and, and we say that they are continuous because as we change the frequency the colors merge into each other and there are no vacant blank spaces right that is what we mean by a continuous spectrum now let us try to understand when say I'm dealing with one of the simplest <coughs> simplest simplest atoms called or say hydrogen atom hydrogen atom then it is having a nucleus with only one proton and around it it has got a trajectory an orbit in which the electrons move right followed by that followed by that there is another path correct followed by that we have 
another path. Right? And so on. That's our goal. Correct? Now, I have told you that the energy level of this, now there is only one electron, fine. Now, if I kind of mark the energy levels of these, they'll be something like that. Okay? So, so this is the lowest energy level for, for n equal to 1, which you normally call K shell, right? K shell. K shell, right? Okay, that is K shell. Now, as you as you go to the higher one, say say if the electron was there, okay, a and we still have that confusion whether they can remain at any distance, right? It was it was kind of we are out to to explain the the Bohr's model, and that's how we came into all this chaos, right? So we are still to do that, but but you just take it from me for for, for now that it is they are at fixed distances and hence have fixed energy levels so so as you come higher as you come higher it is something like that okay this is n is equal to 2 this is the l shell that you had studied right and then they become progressively with respect to energy closer right so m shell okay this is n is equal to 4. This is n shell. Okay, and, and so on. Till it reaches somewhere here where it is and they start becoming closer and closer and closer till they reach infinity n is equal to infinity okay. now it has been seen that if if say say this receives an electromagnetic radiation of 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 exactly This much. So if this is E1 and, and here this carries an energy E1. When I say it carries an energy E1, I actually mean that each photon has an energy equal to H nu. Right? That H nu 1. That is what I mean. Okay, when I say a radiation is carrying an energy E1, it means each of its photon has that much amount of energy. Get that? Now if this carries so much amount of energy then this electron which was here gets kicked up to this level that means from n is equal to 1 it will start moving in n is equal to 2 okay now Okay. 